Tierra here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is going to be the final soap in the September shop update. That means it is September 27th and it's my birthday and I kind of did that on purpose. But I thought why not do something special and make myself a cake but really a soap inspired by a cake, a black forest cake to be precise. So we are going to be making a black forest inspired soap today. Be sure to go over to the shop, the Etsy shop. There's like 10 new soaps, if not more, in the shop because it's one of the biggest updates I've probably ever done. You've got apple cider donut, witch's kitchen, trick or treat, moon goddess, I don't know, pumpkin mocha latte, there's this one in there, there are so many soaps in there and I've also done an update and restock on the Buttery Wizard's Brew, The Boy Who Lived, and House Loyalty. So feel free to put me on pause and go treat yourself and when you come back I'll be here making a Black Forest cake inspired soap. like I always do by adding my lye solution to my oils. There's also some Tessa Silk and Sodium Lactate in my lye solution. Coconut milk powder and kale and clay in my oils. And I'm gonna be adding something else fun to this as well. It has been a while. But let's give these a whirl and get them just barely mixed. So that looks good, nice and creamy to me. I want to do layers in this, like the middle layer be the cherry filling. So I'm going to pour off what will be that layer into this small cup that has red vibrance in it from Nurture Soap. We're just going to do a little thin layer of that. That looks about good. We'll mix that color in. And then for the rest of the cake, of course, it's got to be chocolate. That is the goal of this to make a chocolate layer cake. So I'm going to split off hopefully about half of this. I'm eyeing it up for sure. <laughs> and I'm going to make the first layer of chocolate cake and we'll let that set. I'll then come back and pour the red on it. I have some melt and pour that I think I'm going to incorporate either, I think either in the red part or in the chocolate part. I haven't quite decided, um, but I'll figure it out. Eyeing this up as half and half, I'm going to color it with some cocoa powder. And I should have done this before I split it, but I guess I didn't really think this too through. I just have a general idea. I sketched this up while sitting at work one day on a post-it note. That's where the idea originated. All right, gonna give each one of these a mix and tell you a little bit about the fragrance oil. Another afterthought, because I was thinking, oh, you've got to do the light colors and then the dark colors, thinking the red. I would blend up and then the brown and then I was like wait a minute I'm doing layers and I probably shouldn't have even blended that red yet so my mind is all over the place today apparently very light in color on this I don't want it very dark because the fragrance that I am using is actually a blend of chocolate drizzle fragrance oil and mar maraschino cherry fragrance oil both from crafters choice they both have vanillin in it, and I've actually used this cho chocolate drizzle before, and it does turn the soap dark, 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 dark. So I am not even going to try and get the color I actually want in this, knowing that the fragrance oil will do the rest of the job for me. So I'm going to stir in the fragrance and then pour in the first layer. This smells delectable. I can't get over how realistic and mouth-watering this smells. I mean the chocolate drizzle smells like a Tootsie Roll and the maraschino, sh maraschino cherry, I don't know why I can't say that word, smells just like you opened up a jar of cherries or like the chocolate covered cherries. That I usually give them around Christmas. 
you can probably get them any time of year. Thinking the uh, Cella brand, when you bite into that chocolate and it's like gooey in, in the center and then you got your nice cherry in there. That is what this smells like. Exactly what that smells like is a chocolate covered cherry. When I smelled the maraschino cherry out of the bottle, it was like burn your nose hairs off. It is very, very strong and a little goes a long way, but it smells realistic to me. All right, I am going to let that set up. Hopefully it'll do that quickly because I've already mixed up my red and it's ready to go. I'm not going to add any fragrance oil to the red because I don't want that to discolor from the fragrance oil. So let's let that sit up. Changed my mind. I've got some clear melt and pour that I've also colored in that red vibrant. So I'm just going to plop that in there. See what kind of design that makes. Just in the chocolate parts. So for the embeds, I have these soapy little gumballs. I colored them with red vibrance from Nurtured with a little bit of like a bronze brown just to get that black cherry color look going on. I also have here some soapy shreds. I took some brown soap and shredded it up and added a little bit of brown mica to it to create what is going to look like some chocolate uh, shreds or chocolate shavings to go on the top of the soap. So let's get the icing together. So for the top of this, I just wanted to do some fancy piping. I have, I don't even know what tip this is. It didn't have a marking on it, but it looked like it was going to work. So I wanted to do some, I don't know, maybe some fancy border looking icing on top of here. I'm trying to figure out the best, the best way to start this. Um, that I will put just down the sides. Let's see here. Should have practice, but this is practice. Okay, just like this. And then I'll put the chocolate shavings on this and I'm gonna put some dollops down the center and the cherries on top of that. And hopefully this looks like a yummy piece of cake or a slice of cake when I cut into it. I think I'm gonna have to make myself a real German chocolate cake. I don't know the last time I've had one. I know I need to find the special cherries for it, but I think I'll do that. Every time I make a soap that looks like food, it always makes me want to bake again. And I'll bake myself a birthday cake. I don't really have any plans for my birthday. <laughs> Still over like a month and a half away, so I have plenty of time to think about it. We were going to go away to Deep Creek for the weekend with some friends and then I got an invite to a wedding that I thought would be more important. So for my birthday weekend, I will be celebrating a co-worker's wedding. So that's, that's still fun. It's not exactly what I wanted. I really can't think of anything that I want to do anyway. We've done so much this year already. Um, Bradley's birthday is a week later. We did plan a Gettysburg camping trip, so I think we're just going to have to celebrate our birthdays together and go to the Ren Fest. I'm sure we'll find something to do by then, but I'm not going to make that big of a deal about it this year. It's not a special birthday. We'll find something local to do because that's kind of what we've been doing all year. We've gotten into a couple of adventures this summer because we didn't really plan a big vacation. We've kind of just done things locally, I guess to save money or stay close to home with the dog. I really like these on top of here. I really feel like it's missing something. So by the end of this, I'm going to have to figure out what else I want to add to it. All right. So yeah, we're always doing some kind of adventure. We recently took a hike um, at a state park near us, Gunpowder State Park, and we did a little swimming in the creek and then we took this really, really long hike up to what is called the King and Queen Seat and I just dropped that. I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> I think I'm focusing on trying to line these up so hard right now. 
I think I'm off and I don't know why. I think I'm just off about this whole entire soap right now. <laughs> it's kind of sad, right? Making my birthday soap. Not exactly going as planned. It'll be fine. But yeah, we went to a state park and I love to go hiking, so maybe we'll go do that again. They had a area called the King and Queen Seats that we took about a one mile hike straight up a mountain. Much better, I think I fixed it now. But I'll leave some footage at the end of this video of this hike we took. If anyone has ever seen the movie Tuck Everlasting, there is a, um, a moment in that movie where they're on top of these rocks and it kind of looks like Pride Rock, but it is the King and Queen seat that is located in Harford County in Maryland. And there is a better way of getting to the area instead of climbing up this one mile hike straight up a cliffside. I definitely wanted to die by the end of it, but it's so worth the view. Um, and it's going to be really pretty in the fall, I'm sure. So I'll definitely have to go back and visit. And I am scared of heights. So I'm not the kind of person that will go to the very tip of it and stand. I am a big, big chicken. <laughs> but I got some pretty pictures I will share with you guys. So maybe we'll take a hike or go get some ice cream. Or I don't know, we'll figure out something to do. And I'm sure I'll tell you guys all about it. Alright, so I figured out what else I wanted to add to the soap. So far, I'm thinking it's coming along quite well. As soon as that uh, soap base, the bottom turns dark brown, it'll make more sense. And it'll all come together and look more like a black forest cake. Okay, I wanted to add some mountain pour drizzle. So the same stuff that I added to the inside of this, I am going to put on the top of this. So I just want to make sure everyone gets enough chocolate shavings, right? There's no such thing as too much chocolate. All right, pour on the melt and pour drizzle. I've got some gold eco dust that I'm going to add just a little bit of shimmer to this. I'm liking it so far. I'll give it a spray with the rubbing alcohol and I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. And then tomorrow I will be back to cut this guy open and hopefully get some yummy looking cake pieces out of it. Alright, let's cut the cake and see how it looks on the inside. It has darkened up a little bit, but I expect it to get even darker in there. You can even see the ring around the soap of the color that it will eventually turn once it cures. So I'll leave a picture at the end of what it looks like once it's fully darkened. I think it looks delicious, like a perfectly cut piece of Black Forest cake. It smells amazing, like don't eat this because it, it smells good enough to eat. Ugh, it smells like chocolate and cherry, this is so good, I'm in love with this. Happy how the melt and pour turned out in there, it actually looks like um, like syrup, I guess, like a, a cherry syrup that would be in there. Love it, love it. Don't forget that today is a release day. I'm sure I've mentioned it in the beginning of this video, or will mention it in the beginning of this video. You can find a whole bunch of um, new soaps in there, like this one, and the, what else is in there? The Harvest Moon soap is in there, the Dark Crystal soap's in there, the Celestial, like Galactic, all those soaps are going to be in the shop as well. So head on over there. My in-bed placement is a little off. I was having an off day <laughs> when I made this. I don't know what's up with that. But the final step to this is I have these little chocolate pieces. And I'm just going to attach them to the front of these bars with some melted melt pour. I love this mold. It is very thin, but it makes the cutest little chocolate bar. I'll leave a link to it below so you guys are interested in purchasing it. I'll tell you where I got mine. 
so they'll just go in the front of the bar as well so happy with these I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave me a comment in the section below. You know the spiel. <laughs> Until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I'll see you later.